our area right now and the timing, of course, uh, not good. No, it's not. I mean, we're not talking about a big storm, but the impact of it being felt here for the morning commute. In fact, already a coating of snow on the ground in the parking lot here at our studios in East Providence from what has been some light snow so far. And you see some gaps in the snowfall over Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts, but that will fill in as the morning goes on. Right now, we've got some light to possibly some briefly moderate snow over 95 and 295 through the capital city up through Cranston and East Providence. And then as you travel along 195, you can see another area of some wet snow falling in New Bedford and Fall River. Right now, that a rain snow line has been staying just to the south of Rhode Island, but that's expected to lift northward as we head through, especially the mid and late morning hours. Uh, the precipitation stretches all the way back to our west. We're watching a storm system that's developing well south of us right now and will track near Nantucket. The combination here of the wet snow and rain, the timing of it in the morning commute, uh, putting us under a weather advisory until the late afternoon and early evening hours. So our threat tracker today is elevated due to this wintry weather impacting us mostly in the first half of the day. Thursday and Friday will drop back down to green. So travel impacts the big story with this one with the highest impacts felt right in the height of the morning commute. Things get better as we head into the evening. I do expect us to be drier, maybe some lingering impacts and spots from what falls during the day today. So Providence from our hurricane barrier camera. Again, you can see over the highway, the roadways are damp and in some spots becoming snow covered. That's not the case right here in the parking lot in Newport Harbor where the temperatures are right above freezing Newport and Narragansett. It's 35 in Westerly right now, Richmond at 33, about 33 in the capital city. Here's our storm center sitting east of Cape May, New Jersey, and again going to be tracking a near or just east of Nantucket on a path to deliver us snow, but also snow that may mix with and change to rain especially right along the shore, and that's why we have our amounts less there. So you can see as some spotty light to moderate snowfall at the moment. Our future cast shows that continuing this morning with temperatures at 7 o'clock hovering right around the low 30s. As we move into the later morning hours, notice that rain snow line lifting up. So by lunchtime, areas south of Providence likely seeing just plain rain. It's north of Providence where you'll continue to see some snowfall, but this quickly winds down through the early and mid-afternoon with just a leftover shower. 2, 3, 4 o'clock. The evening commute looks drier. Skies are clearing out overnight and it'll end up colder. So not a blockbuster storm by any stretch, but a slushy few inches expected, especially away from the coastline. So Providence, Cranston, Warwick, East Providence, Fall River, all in that 1 to 3 inch range, 3 to 4 inches in our northwestern communities, Foster and Gloucester, coating to an inch of snow right along the coastline. So Narragansett, Newport, Portsmouth, New Bedford, expecting a slushy coating to an inch of snow. It's still enough to create some slow travel this morning. Use some extra caution, reduce visibility, slippery roads expected for your afternoon at wintry mix coming to an end in the mid afternoon hours, cloudy and drier for the evening commute with temperatures in the uh, mid thirties for your evening hours. As the skies clear, the temperatures drop. We'll have to watch for some icy patches on our roadways overnight with late night lows falling to around the upper teens to near 20. Well, it'll be cool tomorrow and Friday, but not bad days at all. Our temperatures under mainly sunny skies will be climbing up to the lower thirties will be dry and comfortable for Friday afternoon near 34 and then that jump in the temperature is still anticipated heading into the weekend 40s for Saturday closer to 50 in spots on Sunday cooling down a little bit Monday and then another system uh, Monday night into Tuesday looks like a rainmaker for southern New England. So a lot to track here in the uh, next six to eight hours. We'll keep 